Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Blitzer and of course, welcome back to PvZ, aka Plants vs. Zombies. And of course, we are continuing our adventure throughout world number two as we make our way through the night section. And it looks like this time we're going to have to deal with both the zombies that have the screen doors and the vault jumpers and the zombie with the cone safety cones on their heads. So quite a challenge indeed. Uh, but without further ado, uh, let's uh, get a rolling, I guess, right? So uh, let's see. We're going to get the sunflower guys. Of course, we're going to need the puff shrooms. They are very, very important. Uh, because of the screen doors, I'm thinking we're going to probably need the fume shrooms as well. The walnuts. I want to give uh, the grave buster a try, as I always do uh, for the brand new plants. Uh, of course, I'm going to use the repeater, and let's see, that leaves one more spot to go. What do we put in? Because, of course, we bought an upgrade where we now have seven slots for our seeds instead of the typical or the previous six. So now we've got seven, and I guess we'll go with the cherry bomb just to kind of have a safety net if we need it at any point in time. As you can see, there are quite a bit of graves around, so... Um, uh, that definitely makes things a lot more challenging, and it makes me appreciate the fact that I grabbed the Grave Buster uh, with us. So here we go. For now, I'm just going to plant the Puff Shrooms. That is pretty much the strategy. And of course, uh, build up Sunflowers. That's really all there is to it at this point in time. Very, very simplistic strategy early on for this particular level. As we head into level 2-4, aka World 2, level 4. And I think that there are going to be 10 levels on this one as well, at least... That's what I think, uh, that's how I think it works, is basically 10 levels on each uh, one of the uh, worlds. At least that's what I think, again. I could be wrong, but so far, uh, that was the pattern on the first world. So, <laughs> not much of a pattern, considering it only happened once, but still. Uh, that's the only thing I can go off of for now. So here we go, take down this zombie, and some people uh, have spoiled some of the zombies that we're going to be facing off in the comment section, but uh, yeah, it sounds like things are only going to get crazier. It sounds like some of the zombies that we're going to be fighting later on are absolutely insane. Just crazy, crazy uh, challenges indeed. Okay, we got to build up quickly though, because because of those gravestones, uh, some of the zombies are going to spawn very, very uh, ahead. Like, look at that, like... They barely have any panels to walk here, so only like five uh, cubes, like one, two, three, four, five, right? So definitely got to keep that in mind. All right, for now, I'm going to get some more sunflowers going. Come on. Come on, little guys. We've got to hurry on up. All righty. So doing... Uh-oh, here comes the big fella with the cone. With the cone! And for so far, so good about not having any screen door enemies, luckily for us, which was kind of awesome. But uh, I hope I just did not jinx ourselves right there and then. Okay, here comes another one of these fellas. Oh, whoops, a daisy. That was awful positioning on my part. That was very, very poor positioning. All right, so let's take down this gravestone. Check out how that works. See what that looks like. I am really interested in that. All right, there's some there's some coins. We're collecting some good amount of coins now, which is awesome. That is always welcomed. Oh god. Okay, we've got a fire on this zombie. Cuz we are in a bit of a troublesome situation right now. Come on, take him down. Shoot him down, shoot him down. Yeah, righty. So, got a repeater now. So I'm gonna get this guy going. Come on. Uh-oh, not good. Not good whatsoever right now. Alright, I guess I could go with another fume here. I know I just wasted some sun, but I it was annoying me that he was positioned there. I don't know why, but it was. It was definitely annoying me. Okay, so for now I'm gonna just keep planting Okay, this is not good. This is not good at all. Here comes the huge wave already. So early. Come on. I need sunflowers. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ooh, there's a coin. I almost missed it. Terrific. Okay, gotta start positioning some defenses. That would be very smart. So, there we go. Just keep positioning the mushrooms for now, because they're free, and they still offer up... Um, a spot where we get saved, so that's not too shabby. 
Okay, there we go. Position that over there. I guess... For now, I'm okay with the grave uh, stuff. I'm gonna just... Ignore it for the time being. Because I really need to position some more repeaters and things like that. That's really the goal right now. As well as uh, walnuts. That's also very important. There we go. There's a walnut right there. Alright, so here we go. Time for repeater attack. There we go. The repeater's gonna help deal with that sucker over there. Alright, this is awesome. This is awesome. Things are starting to come together. That is fan flipper drastic. Alright, so... Don't want to take that down yet. I guess I could just position for now. Alright, I'm gonna put the fume dude over on there. Another walnut. Goes in this spot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh. I should get a repeater on here. As quickly as possible. Gotta get the repeaters out first. I think that would be smarter. I don't know why, but I feel like if we get the repeaters out there, then I'd feel a little bit more secure about our movements, you know? I'd feel a little safer. So, I'm gonna take down that guy. And then, of course, walnuts also to protect those repeaters and... Everything else behind the walnuts. Okay, so there we go. That should be pretty good. Alrighty. We are really starting to put things together here. Which is fair, flip and trash check. Alright, gotta keep to remember to pick up uh, all those sun power-ups. Because we're just wasting them otherwise. Some more coins out there. Also pick that up. I assume they disappear over time, so... We gotta keep focus on that as well. Another thing to keep in mind. Okay, so let me think now. I kind of want to get rid of this grave out here. Oh god, why did I do that? Oh, that was silly of me. That was silly. That was a very, very silly decision. I forgot to... Oh, goodness gracious, this is not smart. This was not smart. Okay, so you know what? Early on, I should be able to take down quite a bit of them. Boom! That was terrific! That cherry bomb worked awesome for us. Okay. We're actually doing pretty well right now. <laughs> I got nervous for a minute because I didn't have a walnut right over here. But, hey, things are actually looking pretty good. There we go. Now it's protected. Oh, and look at that. It looks like we got a book of some kind. The Almanac. Hmm. Let's see what the Almanac is. I don't even know. You found a suburban Almanac. Suburban Almanac keeps track of all plants and zombies you encounter. Oh, okay, cool. Nice, look at that. Get a little character description of everything that we've encountered. Oh, I love how the uh, plants that grow in the dark have, um, have a different uh, background. That's pretty cool. And let's see some of the zombies we've encountered. The regular zombie, the flag zombie, the coat and head zombie, the pole vaulting zombie, the bucket head zombie, which is an awesome name. We've got the screen door zombie and the newspaper zombie. Okay. And there, as you can see, there were still a lot of zombies that we haven't encountered yet. Ever play a called? I ever played a called a game? That's really good. I sound like I'm Crazy Dave instead of him. Ever played a game called Whack a Zombie? It's just like hunting squirrels. You know those furry little rodents to dig holes in your lawn? Yeah, just like that. But instead of squirrels, it's zombies. And instead of a shovel, it's a mallet. And instead of me, it's you. <laughs> All right, there are a lot of insteads. So, I guess I smashed these. Oh, whoops. Oh, never mind. I just gotta smash the actual zombies. There we go. Get rid of that. Boom, boom. Hey, come here, jerk. Hey. Okay. There we go. Oh, this is fun. This is cool. So, as you take down the zombies, you get points. And as you get points, you can take down graves. That's the idea here. Come on. Punch them all down. Fantastic. Alrighty. So, I don't want to have triple enemies over there. That would be silly. So, definitely want to take down some of the layers. Oh, God. They are just coming at us with immense pressure. Alright, so I don't have to worry about that lane whatsoever. Because there now there are no graves, a.k.a. spawn points for the zombies over there. Same goes with this. Alright, there we go. Hey, what the heck? 
There's another grave that just spawned up. What, did a zombie die and right away get a grave over there? What the heck was that all about? Alright. Whack a zombie. Alright, never mind. It's not about clearing all the graves. They just keep coming. Uh, I just now noticed that the bottom right corner still has the little uh, timeline of zombies. So, that is still available. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. I should, t I should take down that graveyard over there, because that's a pretty far advanced graveyard, so... I don't want it to be that quite ahead, so... Why don't I take that one down? Get rid of this, suckers. Oh, what the heck? As soon as I take down that grave, a grave pops up that is even closer. How is that any better? Okay, there we go. Take that down. Oh my goodness, we've almost got this. We've almost gotten this. Oh, nice. We got a gold coin there. That's awesome. That means we're getting rewarded heavily. Alrighty. Take these suckers down. Whoa, whoa. Alright, the ones with the buckets take double hits, so... They take a double guacamole. Uh, it feels like I'm almost saying guacamole. Like guacamole. Oh, goodness gracious. There we go. What's up, suckers? Final wave. Oh, here they come. Here they come. That is for certain. Oh, there we go, victory! And we earned ourselves another mushroom. So it seems like in this, uh, in the night world, we're only earning mushrooms, which makes sense, I guess, right? Because uh, mushrooms, I guess, like darkness or something like that. All right, the hypno shroom makes zombies fight for you. Ooh, okay, that sounds pretty handy, actually. Sounds pretty gosh darn handy indeed. Oh my God, there's a football player zombie. Alright, which sounds like this little guy, the Hypno Shoe, might be a very useful uh, uh, little uh, plant against that guy. So, let's see. We're going with the sunflowers, the mushroom there, probably the repeater, of course the walnut. It doesn't look like there are any screen door zombies, so I think we're safe with that uh, regard. And we'll grab this little guy, and there we go. That looks like a good choice. Oh my god, I forgot about the Grave Buster. Ah, let's hope we'll be okay. I certainly hope so. And I certainly hope that the football zombie dude... I don't even know. I wonder, does that count as one armor? Like, kind of like the conehead zombie? Or does it count like a lot of armor? Like the helmet's an armor, then the bodysuit's an armor, the football's an armor? I don't even know. It could definitely be a very big challenge. So it's almost like a mini boss fight, that's for sure. So we're gonna need to kick some butt. Come on, gotta plant some more... Some more mushrooms, some more sunflowers. Come on, sunflower. You're producing very slowly today, you know that. There we go. All right, now we've already doubled our count there, so that's nice. All right, come on, come on, come on. I, I want to try out the the hypno shroom, but I don't want to try it out, honestly, on these guys. I want to try it out on that football zombie. I wonder if I could make him work for us, because that would be that sounds like a good helper, you know? He's a big, tough zombie. Alright. Now we got three already. Come on. The hardest part is, like, getting five. Once you've got five sunflowers, then it starts to really kind of roll, and the pace just moves far quicker, so... That is for certain. Come on. Shoot him down. Shoot him down. There we go. I just want to set up dual for now. Um, dual layer of the mushrooms. The free ones, that is. There we go, and then after that, I could just stack them more and more. Come on. Come on, there we go. That works just fine. Another sunflower. Come on. I need repeaters. I am going to need repeaters very, very soon. All right, so I'm going to start planting some of the... Some of the walnuts, because those are very important. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here come the zombies. They definitely almost feels like they're moving a little bit quicker. Maybe I'm just imagining that, but certainly feels like that. All right, and I want to try to plant the walnuts a little bit quicker this time because I know it takes... Oh god, here we go. So, let me see. If I plant one of these, what does that do? Oh, look at that! Nice! Yeah, go attack your side now. Awesome! I wonder, Is it permanent? Does he just attack them all the time? How does that work, I wonder? Hmm. I don't know, but as long as it works, I'm good. Any way that it works will be good by me. 
All right, now let's gather up some points for repeater. We're almost there already for one, so that's nice. There we go, perfect. Fantastic! Come on, come on, come on. Now, down here, I'm probably gonna go with the dual repeater, just because I think, considering that there are two graves, I don't want to be in a situation where I get overwhelmed in that one area, so... I think I'm gonna go with a dual... dual repeater on that side. At least that's the strategy as of right now. All right. So actually, let me put a walnut there. And for now, I guess I'll just keep the little mushroom here. Oh my god, it's the final wave already? I'm not ready at all. Oh my god, look at the swarm of enemies. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Dear god, help me. Thank you. Okay, that took down the football player too, which is very motivational, to be honest, because it makes me... Understand that, hey, I could take down even the football players with this, so that's awesome. Alright, come on, come on, just a little more. Okay, that's it? Is that the last zombie? Holy smokes, that was awesome. We survived that with only two repeaters. Those little puff shrooms are awesome. Thank God that they are free. And this actually looks very similar to them, with the kind of purpley design, I like that. So let's see, this is the security shroom. Long-range shooter that hides when enemies get near it. Okay, so I guess it... Can it not be killed? But at the same time, the negative part of that is that it hides, so it's not it's not effective once enemies are next to it. So I don't know if I want to actually use that. That sounds kind of a bit risky, especially considering that as I'm looking at the current roster of enemies, it does not look very friendly. We got the football player, the cone heads, and the door, the screen door guys. So I don't even know if I'm one. Ah, this is tough. This is definitely, definitely tough. Whoops, sorry. I think I'm gonna get the uh, fume shroom because it damages the other enemies as well. Plus, it will help us out with the screen door guy. Um, I guess I could go with a repeater just in case. Um, uh, cherry bomb saves us a ton of time, so I'm gonna go with that. Of course, the puff shroom. How could I forget about that? Uh, I guess I gotta try the scaredy shroom because I prom I usually try to. Use all the new ones. Oh my god, I should have took a Grave Buster. Look at that. That looks insane. There are so many graves. Oh, nearly half... Look, half the lane here is full of graves. Gosh, that makes things very, very complicated. Okay, that is no fun. That is for certain. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We are gonna need to hurry the heck up. This time. Alright, you keep taking down those... Silly guys, come on! Sun, produce more sun, please! Okay, there we go, perfect. Now, this is why I like to keep the puff shroom and the sunshine, sun uh, flower, sorry, together, because then it makes it easier to transition from one to the other. I know it's a silly thing, but even something like this could save you a couple of seconds, which, hey, a couple of seconds could save your life, you know? Alright, let me plant another flower there. Again, same strategy for now, just kind of dual layering everything. But, um... Damn, this is gonna be a tough one because of the graves. That that makes it difficult. There are far too many graves for now, so... I don't know, we might need to take down a layer of sunflowers as we continue. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, for now I'm just gonna... Double, double everything. Come on. Oh god, there are also two waves coming our way this time around, so... Oh my goodness. This is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting if I can survive this one. I certainly hope so. So far, so good. I mean, so far we haven't lost a wave. Knock on wood. There we go, I just knocked on wood. I had to. Because I said knock on wood, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put this flower here. Sunflower again. And then I need to start repeaters already. I gotta start it. Gotta start it up, gotta start it up. Oh my goodness, I think that I'm not gonna put a sunflower over here, because it's gonna be too clustered. Okay, so let me do this, I guess. There's really not a lot of other options at the time. At this time, sorry. Okay, come on, if I could get a repeater, that would be fantastic, you know? If I could get a repeater out, I would really, really love that. Come on, just 50 more points, for God's sake. Please. Pretty please. Okay, fantastic. 
So now 25 more points and I can go ahead and set up another sunflower, which will be our last sunflower. Now, next up, place that there. That goes here. Oh god, I am getting nervous right now. Just because I'm looking at the at the screen and it's not looking very good from a defensive point, of course. I mean, it's not looking bad either, but it's not very good right now. Not a lot of defense, to be honest. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, got a repeater on there now, which is great. All right, almost got enough points right now to set up a... Uh... Do I want to put it here or here? I don't even know. I guess here would be fine. Oh, God. Just keep setting up the mushrooms for now. Oh, my God, the bottom layer is, like, completely screwed. I gotta worry about that. I gotta really concern myself with that one. Okay, so I'll just layer up a bunch of... Oh my god, here we go. Here comes the huge wave of zombies. Oh, this is gonna be nerve-wracking, isn't it? I just know it. Come on, repeaters. Come on, everybody, guys. Please come through on this. I really, really would love that. Okay, here we go. Here they come. Here come the screen door fellas as well. So let's hope that the bubble, the fume shroom, is gonna help us out there. Shoot through that screen door. Take things down. And notch. Okay, okay. We're doing not too shabby right now. Not too shabby at all. Okay, I'm just gonna continue to stack the... The little mushrooms. The puff shrooms, I guess. Oh god, this one doesn't have any... Any interesting backup, so... I need to put at least something there. And... Come on up here. Okay, this is a, a little bit messier than I like to, but because of the graves, I have to work around the graves, so... I'm really trying my best here. Okay. I'm uh, gonna position this, I guess, over there. Again, it's got occupying them, at least while he's chewing the little mushroom. That gives me more time to build up defense, right? There we go. Nice. Okay, now I need a repeater right over here. And if we could do that, I would feel way more comfortable already. So that would be awesome. Come on. Just a little more points. There we go. Okay, so now the repeater will help take care of a lot of the annoyances over there. Alright, come on. Let me... I don't even know. I guess I could save up a couple more points to... to drop on another repeater or something, right? Yeah, I think that would be actually a good idea, because then I don't have to be worried about the top lanes, and I could just focus my attention on the bottom lanes that are far more active, as you could tell. I mean, it's pretty obvious that they are way more bombarded by enemies than the other lanes, which actually, if I put another walnut here, I think that could be a good idea. Because that would keep them occupied, which in turn gives me more time to play around with things and not worry about being attacked. Okay, there we go. This is good stuff right now. We got a good defense set up. A very, very good defense, I would even say. There we go. We gotta go through a ton of enemies. Sorry. Uh, a ton of defense to get to us, so... That's not too bad. We're in not too bad of a position at all. In fact, you know what? We're doing pretty well with the suns right now. That I think... Might be a good idea to even take this down. Bring in another... Another one of our enemies here. Oh god, I forgot about the... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Holy macaroni! Oh my goodness! This is insanity! They're just barging in! They don't even care about anything! Boom! Yes! Thank God for the cherry bomb! I love you, cherry bomb! You saved my butt once again! And you've also earned us a brand new plant! which is known as the Ice Shroom, temporarily immobilizes all zombies on the screen. Huh, okay, so that could be definitely handy, especially in a situation like that, where you just get rushed with a swarm of enemies. Uh, definitely would be helpful, but nonetheless, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode of Plants... What the heck is that? 
There's like a Michael Jackson disco zombie or something. That looks awesome. I can't wait to encounter that on the next episode of, of course, Plants vs. Zombies. That being said, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please like the video to show that you guys want to see more of these. A lot of people asked to make this a daily series. Um, I'm not... Right now, I don't know if I want to go that way just because there are a lot of other content going on. But again, if you guys want to see if you guys want to see a series become daily, as I always say, the best way to go about doing that is to show it uh, support. The more support the series get uh, gets, the more obviously I'd be inclined to um, pump out more of these types of videos. So again, like the video, share the video with your family and friends who might be interested in checking uh, a brand new kind of silly uh, game in. Uh, plant vs. Zombies, and of course, favorite the video, that would be highly, highly appreciated. All those uh, things would be highly appreciated, in fact. So, thank you so much for the amazing support so far uh, on the series of Plants vs. Zombies. I cannot wait to continue our adventure as we encounter a crazy-looking dancing zombie who looks absolutely awesome. That being said, also do not forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Do not miss out on all the cool content that goes up on the Blitzwinger channel. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a... N -n next time. <laughs> My brain is starting to melt because <laughs> of all the heat in here because it's been crazy. Crazy, it's hot in Canada, so I have to cool down the room, record, cool down the room, record, cool down the room, and do all that thing. I almost started to rap there, kind of. That would have been awesome. But that being said, guys, hope you guys have a family fantastic day, night, or whenever you're watching this, and I'll see ya later. Even if you're eating lunch right now and you're watching this, hope you have a great day and enjoy that lunch. See you later.